there, I'm Susie from Start A Mom Blog and I would love to show you how I add logos to my images using PicMonkey. Um, PicMonkey is super simple to use. It's um, really cool. I've tried other programs like Photoshop, which is a little bit too intense. I normally use PowerPoint, but it can't do all the cool things that PicMonkey can. So let me show you how to add an image or add a logo to your image so you look super professional in that um, people know that it's your stuff. All right, so let's go into the screen. And in the previous video, I showed you kind of how to make this really pretty image, um, especially for Pinterest. If you're sharing your blog post ideas um, to Pinterest, this is a cool pinnable image to use. It looks a little bit new um, and modern with the text kind of hiding behind some of the image. So it looks like the two are blended together. But um, we don't know whose image this is. You don't have your little logo here. So let's create a logo that you can use on all your images. So what I would do is go to PicMonkey and go into design because we're going to be designing a logo. Go into the text. And whatever your blog is called, um, you can use it here my new mommy I'm just copy and pasting blog all right because I want to have mommy be a little bit bigger I also want to play around with the text a little bit more so So this is probably not the name of your new mommy blog, but it's a play, um, it's just as an example here. So you can go to um, your text here. You can create all kinds of cool effects, like a drop shadow, and then make it a different color, make the shadow a different color. You can do knockout where mommy stands out and just has the, the, um, the text behind it and you can change it. There's so many things here you can do in PicMonkey to make it really stand out. There you go. And I want to do this kind of knockout shadow so that you'll see what I do with this in a minute. All right, and then this text, I want to make white as well because most of my image are a little, images are a little bit darker, so I want my logo to be white and kind of that overlay on top of everything. So make that text white as well. So just for the meantime, let's make our canvas color um, just a color here so that we apply that just so that we can see what our text is, otherwise it's white on white. Um, for this inside one, I'm thinking I might not want to do knockout. Let's do drop shadow. All right. So that's going to stand out better on image. Now let's go into overlays. Add a little um, border to it. The second color will make transparent so it stands out. And the top one will be white. All right. So that's your logo. And now we're actually going to go remove that background again. So I just made it blue so we can see the white on the blue. Go, go ahead and crop it. We don't want a massive picture as our logo. Make that smaller. Apply. And you can add use really fancy fonts and kind of cool things if you want to because PicMonkey is full of them. And then here in Canvas Color, we're going to make that transparent. So you can see my new mommy blog is the only thing that stands out. We'll go ahead and apply that and then we'll save it to new mommy blog logo to the hub. All right, so that's saved to the hub. So now I'm going to open that other um, pinnable image that we created earlier and then put this logo on top of it. So I'm gonna exit out of this and I'm going to edit one of my pictures from the hub. 
So here you go. Here's our pinnable image we created earlier. I'm going to go into overlays, add my own from the hub, and then add my new mommy blogging logo to it. So you can see here, I can make it a little smaller. And that's how you can easily add your logo to any one of your images. So you'll just load the image and then you can add that overlay of your, um, your logo. So you don't have to recreate it every time. Um, it looks standard and that's pretty cool to do. So that when people see your pins on Pinterest, they know it's yours. And then you can take this image and export it and then upload it to your blog or to Pinterest. So I hope that really helped you um, see how fancy and how awesome PicMonkey is to use. I love to try out new ideas and features of it. Um, I hope that was pretty cool and I hope your Pinterest and your blog traffic explodes because of all these cool little tips that you can do in PicMonkey. All right, I am Susie from Starting Mom Blog and you can subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, or you can just check me out on my blog if you want to have more blogging and mommy tips. Or if you just want a friend, I'm always here too. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.